Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and this here is my little craft corner where I talk about knitting and sometimes other yarn related stuff. But today I wanted to share with you 10 free patterns you can knit this spring. I have divided them up into small sections, but I wanted to start with some tees, t-shirts for uh, spring. I have four shirts, I have them on my laptop here, so if you see me looking down, that is because I'm looking at my notes and a picture of the pattern. First of all, I have the uh, Solidago by Verdoco Design Team, and this is a DK weight t-shirt, In it comes in eight sizes, which is incredible, I love the size, size range on this. And this pattern really spoke to me because of all the eyelet um, designs, you know, like the lace work it is so pretty. It's just, it makes these, li these little squares. I love that. I love just the squares it makes without having to use two different kinds of yarn colors. It's just, and I think it's easier to do it with lace. And I just love this because it also gives some little breeze um, through the fabric for the warmer spring days. I just really like the idea of this design. I think the tee is a bit too long for my taste. I would need it a bit shorter, but you can obviously alter that on your own. But I just love this. I love the color as well. This is going on my list, which is already quite long. Don't know if, if I'll be making any of these patterns, but this is for sure going on my wish list to knit. Then the second uh, tee I have is the Ceresis by Maddie Amelie Designs. This is a fingering weight pattern that comes in 10 sizes, so even more than the first one. And this, this lace work is just wow. You'll see in this video, I'm, I've really fallen in love with lace <laughs> lately. I'm knitting one lace sweater and all of a sudden I'm just in love with uh, lace patterns. But this is on the sleeves and underneath the arm. It's just incredible, the incredibly detailed and it is a fingering weight pattern, which is a lot, <laughs> which is very hard to knit, I think. But that will make the fabric really light and breezy and fun for spring or maybe even summer. And these sleeves are uh, long, but like below the uh, elbow. But you can obviously knit them longer or shorter if you want to. I just really love this. And this size of T is, um, like the length of the T is just perfect for my taste. Yeah, this is also going on my list. Maybe a bit higher than the first one I showed you, but they're both on my list, as, as is every pattern I'm going to show you, because these are 10 free patterns that I love. I w won't just pick some uh, <laughs> patterns just to pick one. I'm only choosing patterns that I absolutely love and I absolutely want to knit. And that is what really draw, draw me into the next one I have here. And this is very unfortunate, but this is only a one size. It's only in the size of medium. But uh, yeah, I could, couldn't find it in other sizes anywhere on the internet, but maybe you're lucky. But I just had to include this because it has a hood. It's and it is lace. It is lace work, it has a hood, and it's so pretty. Um, <laughs> this is the Hooded Crop Stop by Samara Valera, and it's a DK weight pattern. It comes in only one size, unfortunately. I, I just couldn't find the other sizes anywhere. But this, yeah, as I said, it has a hood. It's This would be amazing to have in my wardrobe. I, if I saw this in the store, I would buy it immediately, no questions asked. And I am fortunate enough that medium is my size, or... I mostly knit small, but I can knit medium and it will just be a little oversized on me. And that's fine. So I am very lucky that this is a pattern that I can knit, but I know not everyone can, unfortunately. But it's just incredible. It The lace work designs are... Wow. I'm not sure what the um, stitch is called that they use, but it's, it's a wider knit stitch it looks like. I don't know, I have to look into what that is, but it's just nice and breezy for spring, for summer, for just the warmer days. And I absolutely love that. 
And then the last uh, T that I have here is the Lotus by Hanna Limmen. This is a DK weight pattern that comes in four sizes, so not as many as the first two, but more than the third one. And this just has the most beautiful uh, yoke design color work, with obviously it's a Lotus. I just love that. I really want to get into color work, but um, I don't know, I just never really had that many color work projects that spoke to me. I knit mints um, <laughs> that use color work, and I am knitting socks that use color work, but I'm so far not a huge fan, but this this looks so beautiful. I think these colors suit the pattern very well. Just the lighter blue and the white. So you just kind of have that spring vibe, that cozy vibe. It's so pretty. And again, this length is perfect for me. The length of the body and the sleeves are... I think I'll just knit the sleeves as they are. I wouldn't lengthen them or anything. I really like them this way. And those are all the tees. And there are more... Most of them were for like the warmer spring days, but the last one was a bit more uh, cooler spring days because obviously in spring you never know what weather you're gonna get. Um, but what I really like to do in spring is just layering, so wearing a t-shirt and then putting a cardigan over it. So that's why I've included a cardigan section as well. First of all, I have the Annelie cardigan by Sonne Bielegaard. It's a DK weight pattern that comes in six sizes. And I just loved this like raglan eyelet design that she put in. It's and the colors. Uh, I think the colors of this cardigan also spoke to me because the yellow and the orange together are mixing quite well with just the spring vibes. And it's kind of not really neutral, but I feel like you can wear a lot under it, which is. Really, when I'm uh, making cardigans, that is what I'm looking for the most in picking colors. It's just what will I wear underneath it? What colors can fit with it? And I think this yellow orange combination has just quite a few options for things to put, put under it. And yeah, I just love this. I love this style of cardigan, this round neck with the bigger bottom bands and just, I, I, I don't know what it is with this. It's maybe a bit more rustic or something, which is a kind of cardigan that I like, but this pretty much is a kind of cardigan uh, fit that I like. So that really spoke to me as well. The color spoke to me and then just the eyelids. We just talked about uh, lace work really as well spoke to me and then Super excited to put this on my list as well for someday, maybe once. I don't know when I'll have the time for this, but I would love to knit this. Really like the sleeve uh, as well, with just the decrease is right on right on the cuff, so it's more of a. It's not really a balloon sleeve, I guess, but just kind of the cinching in towards the cuff. I really like that as well. Then I have the Ausable by Amy Christophers. This is a bulky weight pattern and it comes in seven sizes. And I know spring bulky weight, not really, um, like bulky weight is not really the first thing that comes to mind when you're knitting a cardigan for spring, but it will still get cold uh, some days or around the evening time, it will get cold, so. That's why a bulky weight cardigan will never go wrong. And this just has beautiful cabling designs. I'm quite into cabling as well. I not, I haven't been using cables for a lot of my patterns, but I really love the look of them and I quite enjoy making them. I just haven't really found that many patterns that I absolutely love with uh, cables on it. But this is something I'm really excited about. So this has a few different cables. I see on the back, it has just this uh, going this way, which is kind of looks like more of a one by one cabling, or like maybe it's knit two together combined with um, adding stitches here and there. I don't know how it's done. Looks great. Love it. Um, then you have some, it looks a bit like two by two cabling maybe. Then 
there's lots of different cables on there and I absolutely love it. I think this is a great home card again or just when you're out, uh, out and about in the evening. If you're getting a little bit chilly, you can just put this on. It feels very cozy, which is why I am putting it on my list as well of things to knit one day when I have the time. Then I also have the Ballerina Wrap Top by Alexandre Gattavel. And this, I feel like this is a pretty, or like a bit more of a well-known pattern, which is great. And I absolutely love this. I have to say it comes in a free version and a paid version. So just, uh, take a look at which one you want to get if you want and can support the um, designer get the paid version if you're not able to do that or not wanting to do that you can get the free version as well this is a dk weight pattern that comes in eight sizes which is a great size range for me and i just love this i will, would put it over like a camisole or something or just like a sleeveless top to just have that poking out here a bit i can envision myself wearing this so much and it's pretty high on my list but not Maybe not the highest pattern um, that I'm going to talk about, but it is pretty high on my to knit list. I absolutely love this uh, design. I think ballerino tops are really fun because you can tighten them as much as you want. So fitting, uh, the fit of these are easy to adjust, I guess. It's just a really fun pattern that I would love to knit and would love to have this as a finished item in my wardrobe as well. Then I have picked out one sock pattern that I really like, um, which is the Spring Blossom Socks by Susanna Vetterkind. It's a fingering weight yarn, um, two millimeter needles, and it's written for a size medium, but it is adaptable and it uses an afterthought heel. I get why it is only one size and then just adapt it by changing the needle size. I mean, she suggests doing it that way. But that is because of the uh, design of the flowers on it, the blossom. And I just really love this blossom um, detailing. And there's also some on the foot I can see and I love that as well. It's just, it feels very spring. So this is a pattern that I would for sure like to knit. And I think these colors suit the pattern quite well. Again, just the light blue and pink are... A great combination for spring. I don't know if I'll be knitting them in these colors, but um, <laughs> you just have to stay tuned and see if I ever get around to knitting them and which colors I will use because I do think they're very cute. And I would love having these in my wardrobe. Uh, lastly, I have added two shorts to my list. The first is the Cotton Summer Shorts by Originally Lovely, and it is using 3.5 millimeter needles and the gauge is 20 stitches and it uses um, worsted weight cotton yarn but then like you use 3.5 millimeter needles so that the fabric becomes a bit more opaque so it won't show everything which I think is a great decision and it comes in four sizes with a uh, ranging from 32 to 45 inches in circumference and I just think these shorts are so cute with the drawstring and everything. And I just feel like these will be perfect for just, I will use them at home mostly just to lounge in. And I just love how these look. Uh, you can obviously knit them a bit longer or shorter, but I think I would like to knit them this length. And then the cotton would be great for spring and summer. And the last pattern that I have here is the Lounge PJ Shorts by Katie Clark from Enchanted Fibers and More. And this is a made to measure pattern, which I have. Have I knitted me? I don't know if I've ever knit a made to measure pattern before. I don't think so. I know there is a uh, pattern test coming up that I'm uh, participating in that uses made to measure, but I think that will be my first made to measure pattern. I really like the idea of that, so it can just fit everyone with some uh, simple calculations. So you get an Excel sheet, you insert your numbers, your gauge, your uh, sizing and everything, and then it will calculate the pattern for you. I think that's really fun a uh, way to write a pattern, and I that's mostly what makes me want to knit these. 
I like the fit and everything of this as well, but um, it's the made to measure part is mostly what drew, what drew me to it. And these are a bit more loungy than the first one, uh, the first shorts that I showed you because those are very fitted, and these are just like a bit more not really slouchy but looser around the legs, which can also be great for uh, summer because it's very warm. You do not want fabric to be hugging you at all times. So I think these lounge PJ shorts are great for that as well. And those were the 10 patterns already. I feel like I rushed through them, but I have discussed them. I feel like a pretty good length. And yeah, please let me know uh, in the comments down below which one of these patterns you'll be adding to your list. And uh, I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.